Barbara Ann. Barbara Ann. All right, welcome to the stage. Welcome to the stage. There was a little brow beating backstage. Barbara Ann over there, the beloved of Zach, the wild man that he is, actually said, Oh, we're going to win. I just said, hopefully I won't be sleeping on the couch tonight. That's what, I, that's what I'm going with. Those are my odds on favorite right there. That's a win. Barb requested it just for that purpose. Yeah, we requested. It'll show up tomorrow, maybe. All right, let's start on the end here. Where's Sophie and her soon-to-be husband? Where are they? They're in the crowd right where, there. Where are they? Where? She's waving at us. That's right our there. daughter Sophie and James. Congratulations to you guys. We're hoping the best for you. They're getting married in February. Well, hi. Take our place up here next year. <laughs> We're hoping the best for you. They're no longer newlyweds. No, they're going to do great. We're happy for you, Sophie. We've seen you. We're happy for you. We're happy for everyone. All right, let's start. And then, then uh, we, I asked her to go to the Urban Cowboy movie with me. I, uh, I tried going up a shirt. She shut me down. That was on Friday night. Monday, I dropped her like a bad habit. Then she didn't like me at all throughout high school. And then I started dating her again. And, uh, cheating on a test in business law class, which I had no business being in. But, uh, and then we started dating since then, and now we have uh, four little people, and hopefully I won't be sleeping on the couch tonight. I detect the theme. I detect the theme. Oh, and I, just to let you know, I don't have any problems getting up her shirt anymore. <laughs> well done. Right. Gina, Shannon, how are you doing? Answer, answering the question? Yes, you can answer the question. We have been together 30, almost 39 years. I met Shannon when she was one. And we've been married a little over 10 years. She thinks it's 11. It was October 1st, 11. Congratulations. Ray and Nat. How you doing? Zach. We said Barbara Ann. What's, what What's Zach uh, my worst habit? Your worst habit. Well, I would think it's either being madly in love with you or, oh. or constantly asking if you need a foot massage or a shoulder rub. Or, you know, things I could do like that for you. Now we're talking. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know. Um, <laughs> I guess maybe being full of shit. I don't know. What do you got? You're a procrastinator. Oh, come you on, were, man. You remember that chore she asked you to do three months ago? Well, we got four kids. How do you think they showed up? <laughs> you had better come things on. to do. Come on. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Gene, what did Shannon say is your worst habit? Cake. <laughs> what did Shannon say, guys? Come on, here we go again. That's not it? Habit. habit. Yes. Is cake food? We, that's a whole other question. You're a bad habit to break. Okay. But, uh, uh, Everything. <laughs> Click, clicking, clicking the channels. Changing the channels. She, she's like, yeah. All right, what is it? Let's see. Shannon said, what the fuck? Chewing, <laughs> chewing or breathing. She doesn't like the way I chew food and she doesn't like the way I breathe. That doesn't leave much. <laughs> you can't. I've been chewing. Oh, he chews. Okay. Okay, he chews. Like he puts so much in there. So... And then he has to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
All right. Okay. No one's got it yet. No one's got it yet. Right. Oh. Here we go. You got it. Hey, Shannon, you're going to do great. Gee, what would you take to a deserted island? What would be the one thing you would take to a deserted island? Our kids. Your kids. Wrong again. Gene also would want his kids stranded on an island. Uh-oh, here we go. Why would you strand our kids on an island? You can, it could be just the two of us, Gene. But no, you chose to suffer on a deserted island with you and the kids. Where is mommy? Sorry. <laughs> All right, no points there. Zach, what would be the one thing you would take to a, a deserted island? I mean, that's a no-brainer. It would have to be you and the kids. You did not say that. She said, you're well, Led Zeppelin Zepp records. records as well, of course. <laughs> I gotta take those. <laughs> what was I thinking? <laughs> I like where you're minded. You're just trying not to sleep on the couch. Of course, Jimmy Page over Barbara Ann any day of the week. <laughs> oh. You better get your favorite movie I mean, right. a couple classics, but... Uh, uh, probably The Exorcist. Barbara Ann says... Well, Animal House, because that's why you're talking House. about comedy, so yeah, yeah, without a doubt. Animal House. That's the top two right there, for sure. Okay, all right. All right, good, good, good try. Close. Close. Steve, what is your favorite movie? Being There. Being There. Shannon says... Being there, you're on the board. You're on the board. I love it. I love it. Here we go. Ray, first job. Yes. A butcher's assistant. Oh fuck. <laughs> okay, news. Newspaper delivery boy. Newspaper delivery boy. Shannon says, paper boy purr. <laughs> paper boy purr. What did, what did you do on your paper route? Why? No, what did you do that she would consider you a paper boy perv? Perv. Yeah, well, perv. I, I went, uh, it was Friday night, and I had to collect 35 cents from Mrs. And she was a newlywed. And it's, it's how I lost my 13-year-old virginity, this woman. For 35 cents, Chief. Yeah, I'm cheap. And you became a butcher's assistant after that, right? You can find that story on shopgenesimmons.com. All right, let's go with the newlyweds. Oh, uh, side of, side of being Barbara Ann's foot massage guy. I would have to say, Oh, uh, I pump gas. Yeah, oh, because you're from New Jersey. Gas station yeah, attendant. Gas station, That's well. That's right. In New Jersey, you can't pump My your father gas. called it a petroleum transfer specialist. Nice. Nice. Yes. There's a big meeting today, man. Nice. Well done. Give them a point. They got a point. Nice. Give, give away a jean or something. Yeah. Yeah, we're giving away the blanket. We're giving away the blanket. I gotta keep the sign, but we can give away the blanket. Let me keep the sign off. There you go. Somebody's getting the blanket. What, what's the criteria, Gene? How are we doing it? I told you, front row people, you're getting it. There, somebody's getting it. Oh, that guy. Hold on. It's heavy. The Patriots receiver caught it. And finally, a Gene Simmons cutout goes to that guy. Dressed in the Randy Macho Man Savage fit. Well done. Well done. Don't give it all out yet, Gene. We're gonna, we're gonna do a massive giveaway. We're doing a massive giveaway at the end, everyone. See, look. Gene wants you guys to have stuff. Whoa, whoa, guys, jeez, jeez, jeez. You guys, you guys.
organizer. Wow. All right. Here we go. One more thing. No. No. Look at that. See? Just because you waited and you were, and I told you you were going to get something too. I told you you were. There we go. Gene Simmons, once again, everybody, that's what he does. He gives stuff away because he wants you to have it. And if you didn't get something, you can always buy it at shopgenesimmons.com. We're going we're gonna to get. You want a hairball? What? A what? She wants alcohol. alcohol. Lady, don't you have the universal beverage package? You better talk to your friends. <laughs> Who has the beverage package? Get this lady some alcohol. All right, let's bring out our better halves. Let's bring them back. All right, Barbara Ann, what is your go-to karaoke song? I have to say we don't do karaoke. What would be your favorite song to sing if you, if you did do karaoke? Yeah, what's your, your shower song? What's your... It have to be something by Madonna. A Madonna song. Yeah, you're a Jersey kid, right? You're gonna say The Cure, Madonna. The Bee Gees? <laughs> I can't attempt to sing it. Was, I was, it was basically rubbing the shoulders as opposed to rubbing the feet. I was close. I was close. It's still a win. Still a win. Always a win. All right. Shannon, what is your go-to karaoke song? Is that Across the Universe? It's the answer. Give him a point. Way to go, Gene. Right out the gate. Right out the gate. Exactly how you framed the question. Yes. A man is half asleep. Sure. I, well, and here's the thing. All right, so we said, what is on your bucket list? To which Gene's, what is on your bucket list? And Gene said, you already have everything. You've already done anything. So what would you say? What would you say then? Since you already have everything, you've already done anything. I would say either, um, a house full of grandchildren. Grandchildren is what Gene said. Yeah, Gene. Yeah. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. Sophie kept busy. <laughs> I'm going to say that or a house full of dogs. I'm just happy for Gene getting these answers right. He is learning each each week. All right, so we got to do two of these Only a week. Twelve more cruises and we'll win. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Next cruise, you'll be in second place. Here we go. All right. We're gonna lose this. Barbara, one. what is on your bucket list? It's either an apartment in Paris or going to Bali. An apartment in Paris or going to Bali. Zach, what did you say? Go back to Bora Bora. Mm, close. Yeah. I have Bora Bora in my will to take my ashes there, so I'd like to get there before I'm in an urn. Ah. <laughs> Fair enough, technicality. I get it, I get it. Good choice, good choice. All right, I, I, I hope he does. Newark, Elizabeth. Oh, you're from Newark, okay. I was gonna say parts unknown. <laughs> parts unknown? New Jersey. My yeah. husband, New, New Jersey. Oh, there you go. Maybe I'll get a foot massage tonight. I, I, you guys, I know where Newark is. I, I mean, we didn't say city specifically. I mean, Newark. I, yeah, Newark, New Jersey. I, I get it. I mean, I'm from Livingston. I'm Route I'm just saying all that type of stuff. I know about Jersey. All right, I'll give you the points. I'm not, I want him to have a bed this weekend. All right, Gene. Shannon, where were you born? I was born in Newfoundland. Oh, really? Okay. Newfoundland. What was the town? Not Newfoundland. Newfoundland. I thought, but isn't it called Newfoundland? And Dildo was where I went to school, actually. That's what he said. It's not the city. Oh, okay. I was born in. I visited the place. There's a dildo Canada. I know. I said you were born. 
because we ate at the dildo restaurant and I had a goddamn dildo burger. I swear to you. And we're over we're overlooking Placentia Bay. I swear to you, it wasn't Placentia Bay. We're overlooking Spread Eagle Bay. Spread Eagle, oh that makes it better. Come by chance is not far away. They're real. These are drunk, these are drunken sailors who have nothing to do. And outside the uh, restaurant, the Dildo restaurant, was Captain Dildo Says. And it's a life-size cutout with a blackboard on there so you can write that he, stay where you're at and I'll come where you're too, bye. You know, <laughs> new fit stuff. Please, no, go for so, it. It's a thing sort of shaped like this, and it uh, floats in the water and holds the fish nets. Up, right? Is it like a buoy? Almost like a, like a buoy? Okay. It looks like a bully pin almost, so, and of course it looks like other things too, so the funny, drunken Irishman decided to go home until now. Okay. All right. It's stuck. <laughs> Education, everyone, we're learning. Hey, Nat, where were you? Your very favorite. Tom Jones greatest hits is what she says. That is the answer. Give him a point. Give him a point. I threw in my underwear once. A new pair. She did worse than that. Uh-oh. Here we go. The old news. The old wounds. She rammed her tongue down his throat like a Christmas goose. I love you guys. I really do. Yeah, I know. I, you guys are the best. Look at how happy they are. Look at them. She's a lady, for sure. Whew. All right, that. You can only listen to one album for the rest of your life. What is it? This would be the Bee Gees. The Bee Gees. Be Greatest the Bee Gees. hits. He got it. Way to go, Zach. All that massaging paid off. You won. There you go. All right, here we go. Corinne. So, Nat and Ray, you all did great. But our winners are Gene and Shannon. Gene and Shannon won. The truly win game. Finally, you did it. You did it. You won. See, you cleaned up this round, and you did it. Oh, they did it. This is amazing. Nat and Ray, here. You, you guys still get the certificates because you had the next highest score. But Gene and Shannon had a combined. They had a combined score of 110 points. <laughs> Gene did not miss anything. Wow, Gene, you did it! You did it! We had a little talk after yesterday. Oh! <laughs> Zach, are you sleeping on the couch tonight? Yes, I'll be on the couch. And then, but you know, when she tells me to come in and give her a foot massage, then it's back out to the couch. <laughs> That's okay, as long as I'm here. Hey, you guys have caught Black Label Society, right? Yeah. How cool is that? Hey, I saw Zach first time when he was 12 years old playing guitar for Ozzy. He's got great stories about that. Yes, yes, that's one of them. It's actually 12 and a half. <laughs> but, uh, no, it was good times, for sure. But, uh, yeah, but... Uh, I just want to thank Gene and the rest of the fellas for bringing us out here. Did everybody have a great time or what? Yeah. Thank you. All right, everybody. Now, hold on. Before you start bum rushing, all of my contestants, everybody come in close. We're going to take some pictures. I 